Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Mommy B. Hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'll be sharing few summer recipes. Multiple times I have failed in growing a curry leaf plant and this time I got a new healthy plant. Let's see how it will grow. I love growing sweet potato vines and it is the easiest indoor plant ever and it will give you beautiful vines but somehow due to my vacation uh, it was lost. Some of the recipes are very easy to make and it is very delicious also. This is one such recipe and it has so many memories in my life. During our college days, in the intense summer, we used to have to, a walk to the hostel which is so hectic. So we used to grab this one big jar of watermelon juice from the canteen and it was so refreshing. A handful of fresh mint can take this to another level. When summer season comes, watermelon also becomes the favorite fruit of everyone to a ready-to-go snack owing to its sweet and refreshing taste. Being with 92% of water, it's hydrating at the same time it's a powerful antioxidant also. Kids will love them and trust me this will be an excellent idea for outdoors. I shall show you in the coming videos how we enjoy watermelon as popsicle, homemade sorbets and ice candy. This is one of the other recipes I ever wanted to try because of its fresh taste. It is a Southeast Asian cuisine and it's made with glutinous rice, fresh mango and coconut milk. The sticky coconut rice will taste like a tropical rice pudding while the soft mango will provide the fresh and natural palate reliever. This is definitely one of the best Thai dessert on the street and even in the restaurants and we loved it and this will be one of our family recipes in a family book now onwards. And if you have all the ingredients, it is very easy to make at home and it's also a perfect tiffin recipe either to school or office because even the kids and even I enjoyed it during my work. Final garnish with roasted sesame seeds and it's all done. Enjoy!
नेक्स्ट रेसिपी इज़ प्रिपेयर बाय अ वेरी फेमस शेफ इन माय हाउस येस इट्स प्रिपेयर बाय नाइनो शी लाइक प्रिपेयरिंग समथिंग वेरी इजी एंड व्हिच हैज सो मेनी एलिमेंट्स सो आई हेल्प हर फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग सच थिंग्स and cooking is also a special kind of activity which i enjoy with my kids because it includes lot of participation from my side and their side and we interact a lot and we have our failures and sometimes we make a different uh, different experiments and it's all fun having them in kitchen especially during baking and cooking and make preparing salad so i love this time we are making a fruit uh, custard uh, or a fruit salad with custard both are the same i think fruit custard is a delicious creamy and rich chilled dessert made with custard powder milk and seasonal fruits and nuts and this will be a great summer treat to your friends family and guests any seasonal fruits go well with this dessert but most often i use banana pomegranate mango and apples it is good to use sweet fruits and avoid sour ones do not use citrus fruits like oranges grapefruit kiwi or mandarins i also avoid pineapples it's always better to add the fruits just before serving so that you will get that fresh taste The consistency of the custard can be altered according to your palate taste and we prefer it to be in a pudding consistency and I am garnishing it with caramel paste. You can also make it more fancy by adding some dry fruits and nuts instead of fresh fruits and you can completely skip the sugar in the recipe also and add dates, figs, almonds, pistachio, jelly and tutti frutti. This is a very interesting recipe. We used to have this when we are into Uti, Mysore, some cold places, and uh, that's why I like to have them in summer. I don't know why. Maybe uh, it gives me the feel of that uh, cold places and the moments there. Actually churumuri is a puffed rice snack and is also a street food in Karnataka which is one of the south indian state and this is a spicy tangy and crunchy which you will like it and i love to add lot of veggies and finely topped uh, onions tomato carrots and even crunchy peanuts but uh, whenever i eat this one i feel it's better to have steamed uh, peanuts For the tangy taste you can add lemon juice. I have also tried this with the tamarind pulp both tasted yum. And don't forget to add fresh finely chopped unripe mangoes which will add that special kick to this dish. So if you have heard only about Indian chats like pani puri, bel puri, alu chat, uh, sev puri, this is a variety chat to be added to this list. While I am enjoying the chat, I hope you all like this very small video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye, and do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button.